Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. High school. That child prison that parents willingly pays money to send their kids to. It's one of the worst times in a person's life. From bullies to dating to re the normies. It's no wonder it's the setting for so many escapist fantasies. My name is Faith Thermalimnus, and join me as we count down some of the top 10 anime high schools. Keep in mind, this is just my list, but if you don't like it, well, you can go straight to the principal's office. Number 10, Aurora High School Host Club. Now, this one is so low on the list because, well, while it is kind of outlandish to have this school here, it's not too out of the way, like, out of the realm of possibility, a bunch of very, very rich people get together and make an extravagant mansion of a school with luxurious amenities and stuff that we couldn't even, like, consider, like, oh my god, the amount of money that tuition would be a month. Oh, Jesus. You think college is expensive. But going to school here, it would probably be fun. You know, besides the crippling debt that you would probably be in. Unless you're a super smart cross-dressing girl who then gets in on scholarship. But the weirdest part about this school is the fact that they literally have a host club, which is pretty much like calling a hooker an escort. It is essentially kawaii desu guys all being very nice and sensual with young high school girls. This is a little bit weird and probably wouldn't fly in most places now, except for Japan. What if you had this at your high school? Would you do it? Would you be a visitor? Number 9. Lucky Star. So this one again is low on the list because it's still within the realm of possibilities, but the things that these kids do are pretty awesome. I don't even think they're in high school. I believe they're in middle school during all of this, and they get to go on all kinds of adventures. Look, I know anime probably embellishes a lot of the stuff that normal high schools do, like the school festivals, but those things do look amazing in this. Yeah, you still have to do massive amounts of homework and summer work, and then all your grades are posted, all for the public to see so you can be publicly shamed by your peers if you score low. But look, bentos, anime, school festivals, hot springs, that's... But that's a pretty good trade-off, I would say. Yeah, you know what? I'd, I'd do it. Sign me up. Number eight, Soul Leader. <laughs> we're, we're leaving the, the realm of possibilities here. You know, this, this just won't happen. Sadly, I don't think any of us will ever go to school with Death Jr. I'm not sure if any of us would want to go to school with Death Jr., but within some of the first few episodes, these guys are sent on a manhunt to go and assassinate someone wow talk about a syllabus that is that is you know screw the little homework assignments that teachers used to give you on the first day like tell me something about yourself uh, no your first thing is go kill this guy that is my kind of high school besides the fact that i'd probably die on day one that would be a very very fast class but a very fun one also i'm pretty sure if you shot guns like this you would break your hands I'm not dumb enough to try, but that's just a hunch. Number seven, Danganronpa. So at the risk of ending up on some sort of no-fly list for edgy comments, I'm sure there's been at least one person in your school that you wish you could just, you know, kind of make disappear. At least one. Well, this is the school for you, because in this school, you are free to kill whoever you want. But if you are caught and people find out it's you, well, bye-bye. This has an amazing cast of characters. And while it kind of takes you out of the traditional high school setting and into this kind of encapsulated area, these are still high schoolers that are in this new school. So while they're not exactly learning new maths, and taking English courses, they are studying to become, I guess, successful assassins and hopefully live through this game. So yeah, you get to take out that bully or jock or pretty girl that you're completely jealous of but won't actually admit it. The only problem is, now they have free range to kill you, with almost no consequence. Number 6, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Card games on motorcycles. I it has nothing to do with this, that, that would be 5Ds, but GX is the one where you go to school to learn to become a professional Yu-Gi-Oh! duelist. 
Oh my god. Yes. Yes, please. That sounds like the most epic thing to do. Of course, it's probably more worthless than getting a gender studies degree, but hey, I get to goof off and play with Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this highly, highly expensive virtual reality field. Unfortunately, they also do give you like normal tests and stuff, like you actually have to study and take tests, and it's actually hard. And you stay in these horrible bunk beds, but hey, you get to play card games for your entire duration there. Gotta, you kind of have to make your choice here. Do you want a comfy bed and internet access, or do you want to play, or do you want to duel? Number five, the melancholy adventures of Haruhi. So there's a lot of people who claim to be religious, but to them I say. You didn't go to high school with the literal manifestation of God. Yes, God herself is a student in this one. Though that's kind of a spoiler, but if you haven't seen this anime, you probably weren't going to, despite it being one of the best animes out there. Haruhi is just a normal high schooler, because she wants you to believe that she is. But she's actually God, and with that she subtly manipulates the world without her ever really realizing it, making everyone in it her puppets. They get into some odd adventures, while still somehow being mundane. This is a normal high school, and they have to do normal high school things. But the characters here are espers, secret agents, robots, aliens. It's kind of weird. You have all these amazing and impossible people in one location. They're just... You know, trying to pass their next science course. There was an entire part of the series where they get stuck in the same time loop for like nine episodes. And I kind of figured that was a metaphor for school because you'll be doing the same thing for hours and hours, for years and years, and you won't actually really go anywhere. Number four, Little Witch Academia. So I haven't actually seen this show. But I'm gonna assume it's pretty much Harry Potter, but if they were all little questionably aged Asian schoolgirls, and uh, yeah, I mean who doesn't want to go to the Japanese Hogwarts? That sounds hella lit fam, with Gaudium Leviosa. But seriously, if I can literally learn magic and that is my schooling, that would be incredible. I think some of these kids who slack off in courses don't appreciate what they have. If I can seriously do all this magical stuff, you better believe I'm going to be studying my butt off to become the greatest wizard who ever lived and completely abuse set powers for the most mundane of tasks. Number 3, Kill a Kill. So besides the fan service outfits, Kill a Kill is a pretty weird school. We don't actually really see her ever going to classes, but they do happen. It's mainly focused around her taking out the extracurricular activity clubs, like tennis and golf and etc. But it's still a high school. And a high school where you get magical uniforms based upon your performance that make you pretty much like a superhero and give you all kinds of abilities. Granted, they also secretly are taking over your mind, but hey, superpowers. I think it's a fair enough trade-off. It works well for the Blue Beetle. Plus, I mean, look at their outfits. Who wouldn't want to go to the school? Number two, My Hero Academia. If you could go to a school to literally become a superhero, that would be incredible. Of course, if you were quirkless, you wouldn't really make it in. I mean, you could always go for the business course, but if you wanted to go for business, you might as well just stay in this world. No, my friends, you probably want a flashy quirk. You want to be able to cause explosions or have super strength and be one punch man. That's essentially what this school is. But it's not exactly a laid back and rest type of school. You're constantly on high alert and you're constantly being pushed past your limits. Your job is to save people. If you can't do that, then you might as well not even be in this course. If you hate gym class, then you're gonna hate this. Don't think just because you have a quirk that you're gonna be able to go ahead and breeze through everything. One quirk may work in one situation, but it doesn't mean the rest of your body somehow becomes magic. You'll be lacking in other areas, and to make up for that, you're going to have to work hard. And I mean really hard, to be able to go ahead and survive. Cause, <laughs> because the last thing you want to do is be caught lacking by someone like a hero killer, and get your throat slit in a dark alleyway like some sort of plebeian. 
Was that a spoiler? Who knows? Maybe you should read the manga. And the number one spot is... Assassination Classroom. This one is higher than the hero one because, honestly, it takes normal high school students and makes them great. They don't have some sort of superpower. They're not invincible. They can die and they can make mistakes. But they have an amazing teacher who teaches them how to become top tier assassins. All so that they can kill him and save the earth. He's teaching his own demise but passing on the knowledge that he has to the next generation. It's noble and sad all at the same time. This school constantly competes with the stigma of being the lowest of the low of the bracket, E-class, the end of the line. But these ragtag groups of misfits are able to bond together and do some pretty amazing stuff. It's one thing to rush into battle when you have superpowers. You know you have advantages. And you know you have an advantage. It's a completely another thing to know that you're rushing into battle just as a normal person. There's a high chance that you'll never come back. And you do it anyways. That's a completely other form of bravery. Something that most people will never understand. But hey, that's just my list. There are so many different schools out there in anime. So let me know what you guys think down below. I've been Faith and Malimnus. I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.